Pittsburgh has been waiting all week for this one. Get ready, folks. The opening kickoff is finally here. Excellent kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. So let's see what the offense can do as they come out onto the field. enough time to find his man for a nice game. There's a strike complete. He's down. He ran a good looking route and picked up positive yardage. That he did, and he made a good catch. That short passing game is where you see all those hours in the summer that you put in pay off. And down he goes around the 39 yard line. to bring the heat with the outside linebacker. It was just a better call by the offense, and that's why it's a first down. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 28, and he is drilled at the 35-yard line. Wow, I absolutely love this call. It's a bit of a risk here bringing a corner, but he got all the way in and got to the quarterback. A lot of times, the defensive coordinator will call a blitz from the corner, hoping to just make pressure but this time he got all the way in to be able to bring the quarterback down that's a big time play here's the eighth play of the series Go. Go. fires out to his wide tackle at the 17. He stopped right away. That makes it second and ten. And he's hit before he can go anywhere. Over the middle to his tailback. That'll make it third and five. Scrambling around. Quarterback's going to run it, and he's got room to work. The offense here picks up a first down by running the football, and I really think that they gave the quarterback there an option at the line of scrimmage to run or to pass, depending on what he saw from the defense. The defense that time looked to be out of position. I think they were anticipating a pass. The quarterback recognized that, made the check at the line, and they were able to run the football for a first down. So the halfback gets only two on the draw play. Touchdown, Cougars! need to pitch it as the quarterback's able to run it in. I'll tell you what, when you're a quarterback and the goal line is right there, it's pretty hard to pitch the ball when you think you can get in. That's a smart decision to keep it for the score. He splits the uprights with the extra point. It was a 13-play, 76-yard drive, and they add seven points to the scoreboard. You know, Brad, a lot of times you have to watch practice and watch a seven-on-seven -seven drill to not see the ball touch the ground. This time, they went the entire length of the field. The ball never touched the ground. Great execution by the quarterback and the receiver. So our score, 7 nothing, And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The Panthers have shown over the course of the season that they want to get this guy the football, but you can't just go to him every play. Well, on the road, you especially want to take the crowd out of the game and the one guy you know who can do it is this wide receiver. The problem you have 
is his defense, more often than not, is going to be a line to take him out of the game. And that, to your point, Brad, that's where somebody's going to have to step up, whether it's the running game, some of the other receivers. You're going to have to take some of the pressure off of him and really make it a team effort to be able to win this game on the road. Man left, man left. From their own 30-yard line, three down, three down. second down. Mike 51, Mike 51. <laughs> Tight end grab, first down. He's tackled at about the 39-yard line. That makes it first and 10. Three down, three down. Mike 51, Mike 51. I got this. Catches it, and he's immediately tackled. Called 89 yards. That brings up second and one. Short yardage situation here. It's second down and one. Hey, Mike 51, Mike 51. Go, go. Has some daylight. Nice run, and he's brought down. Gain of seven on the play. First down. Three down, three down. What? that quickly incomplete and a great job that time on defense good job here but let me tell you something that wide out was left out to dry that time so it's second and ten ball on the 45 yard line nice run there Takes it out to maybe the 39-yard line. The running back gets two on the carry. Fourth down. They'll line it up for a very long field goal attempt. It has the distance, and he just drilled it from long range. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He just drills this one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Their last drive ended with a touchdown. Let's see what happens on this possession. If you can bet this defense made some adjustments on the sideline, though. I don't know if they can stop the passing attack, but they need to at least be able to slow it down. He's out of bounds at the 27. Washington State is up by four. Steps out of bounds at the 30. Under heavy pressure, and he tackles him hard at the 21-yard line. And this one is a beauty. Tackle at the 29. So at the end of one quarter, Washington State leads 7-3. Set to resume action here in the second quarter, and we've got a tight ball game. There hasn't been too much daylight between these two teams. In games like this, some players try to press too much, and that can cause mistakes. He gets out to about the 32-yard line. From their own 32-yard line, second down. Gets to around the 42. That's a gain of 10 on the play. First down. Three down, three down. 
Mike 13, Mike 13. Quick pass, and they make the stop at the 42. From their own 42 yard line. It's second down. And he's knocked out immediately after the catch. If you're the defense, who do you try to cover this guy with? He's too fast for most linebackers, he's too big for most corners. You have to rely on your safeties who generally aren't very good in one-on-one -on -one coverage. Man left, man left. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 41-yard line. Three down. On three, on three. Motion, motion. Two three, three. Go. Gotcha, motion, motion. Let's go. Here's a give up the middle, tackle right away. Picked up a yard of anything on that run. That'll bring up second and 11. down now they need to get it down to the 31. This one's going deep to the end zone. This unit has quick hands and they showed it there by knocking away the pass. It's up, and he got it. Well, that one looked like it was going to be wide, but he put it inside the upright. Yeah, he squeaked that one in, and he didn't have much more than a couple of inches to spare. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Washington State with a one-point lead. And he's tackled at the 33. They'll spread the field with five wide. Out of bounds at the 35. And that one goes for about two yards and first down. Nice play there to move the chain to keep the drive rolling. They'll spread the field here. Let's see what the defense does with a five wide outlook. And he's taken down at about the 33 yard line. They'll line up with five wide receivers. yard line second down five wide he's hit and taken down the halfback picks up a yard And he adds 
yards, the extra point. It was an eight-play, 75-yard drive, and they put up seven points. Brad, I thought the key to that drive really had a lot to do with the quarterback and the receivers getting in sync, making it very tough for the defense to slow them down. So the score now, 14-6. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The Panthers have got to find a way now to get the football in this guy's hands. And I think about basketball players and a jump shooter. If you can't get him the, the ball, get him to the free throw line and get him one free one from 15 feet. Or... I agree with you 100%. I mean, and this is one of those games where the defense has just been suffocated. They've taken this wide receiver out of the game. Uh, this offense has not been able to come up with some answers. I would continue to fight as an offensive coordinator and a play caller to find different ways to get this receiver a touch. And all it takes, Brad, as you said, is just one play to maybe create that spark and get this confidence established for this offense. Quick throw, and he's got the tight end again. Tackle made around the 38-yard line. He didn't have much of a chance on that play. Boy, this defense has a lot of speed. They're all over him by the time he caught the ball. catch there before he stepped out of bounds. Excellent job by this young quarterback of making the defense pay for bringing both outside linebackers. That's composure right there. So the referee initially calls it a catch, but we'll get a second look at it here and determine if he was in bounds when he hauled it in. And that play happened so fast that it was very tough to tell if he was able to get a foot down or not. After, After review, review of the play, play the, ruling the ruling on the, on the field, field stands. stands. Well, I think the play warranted a review, but the call on the field stands. From the 43-yard line, it's first down. Caught, open field. That's a great tackle at the 37. Makes the reception. Good for, Good for a gain, a gain of, six of six yards. yards. That'll, That'll make, make it, it second, second and four. four. Larry, Larry. Slings it. There's a fumble. They fall on it. They got the turnover. Well, this is what it's all about. Defense taking advantage of an opportunity. They're pouncing on the loose ball. A touchdown was the end result of their last drive as this offense moved the ball very well with their passing game. Great passing was the key for the offense the last time they had the ball. They were able to pick apart the defense and get down the field for a touchdown. five-yard line first down Washington State holds an eight-point advantage got a man watch out here excellent open field tackle that play was going nowhere yeah give a lot of credit to the defense here recognizing pass and swarming to the receiver Incomplete, trying to get it to his receiver. Third down now, and they need to get it inside the 45. Fires out quickly to the tailback. Brought down at the 48. Pittsburgh will take a timeout. That's their second of the half. They're stacking the line. It looks like they're coming after this punt. And he's got to be happy with that punt, Kirk. Yeah, Brad, that was nice. And now they're looking at a long way to go to even think about a score. The offense couldn't hang on to the ball last time around. Let's see what happens here. I look for the offense to come out with the same game plan as before. You don't make changes after one play. 
Zips it to the tight end. And they push him out around the 18-yard line. That'll be a gain of five. Here's a safe play hitting the underneath receiver, but it's a nice gain of five. From their own 18-yard line, it's second down. Goes at about the 29-yard line. Call it a game of 11 yards. First down. Three down, three down. Mike 13, Mike 13. At two and eight. Take go. Tries to fit it in there, and it'll be intercepted. Tackle at about the 41. Great game in the works, folks, as we come to the end of the first half. The Cougars in front by eight. All right, Reese and David, thanks, guys. Second half action just about ready to start here. He sends this one deep. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Washington State's a type of team, when you look at them, it looks like their defense sort of just feeds off itself. I think the energy is there, Brad, but I think it really starts up front with their defensive line and their linebackers, the way they're being able to just win the battle at the line of scrimmage. I think it's giving them confidence, and it's allowing them to play more downhill where they can attack this offense. the 27-yard line. Second down, eight yards to go. Ball on their own 27. Three down, three down. They bring him down. And we talked all week with these coaches, and even when we met with them yesterday out of practice, they told us there were some big concerns about facing these defensive ends. They thought that they might be able to hold up against him, maybe get the ball out of the pocket a little bit quicker, maybe use running backs and tight ends to help with double teams on the outside. But right now, whatever they thought they might be able to do, they better get back to that drawing board because these defensive ends are just too quick. They'll make the 
sack. And that is one inspired defense right now. These hits take a toll on a quarterback, physically and psychologically. The blockers have got to do a better job of taking care of him. The sack makes this a fourth and very long. The punting team's got to give their kicker some time. Oh, excellent punt. He makes it to the 45-yard line. We're about set to start things up again. Washington State up by eight. Makes the catch and look out. He's pushed out of bounds around the 34-yard line. Probably should have been picked off. Yeah, are you kidding me? There's a blanket around that receiver. Somebody else had to be open. That brings up a second and goal. Ball on the seven. Touchdown, Washington State. Converts the extra point. Looks like they're ready for the kick. Excellent kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The defense shut them down on their last drive, forcing a quick punt. If they're going to make a comeback in this game, it's going to have to start now. This offense has to get rolling. And he tackles him hard at the 24-yard line. Second and 11 coming up now. Ball on the 24. Bring him down around the 32 yard line. Number 15 was, was the intended, intended receiver, receiver on the play. play. That, that makes, makes it third and three. three. That play is a good blocking up front by the Hog Mollies. From their own 39 yard line. First down. Gets it out quickly. And they make the stop at the 49 yard line. That's the kind of play call execution I like to see. Being one dimensional on first down can really stack the odds against you. It's better to mix it up. He's hit immediately. That was a really nice play on the ball by the receiver for a substantial gain and a first down. From the 38-yard line, it's first down. Hits right. Gets to about the 37-yard line. Fires quick 
quickly, and he's got his man, and he's tackled at the 33-yard line. Game of four on the play. That'll make it 35. And this play is number eight on the drive. Nice catch, first down, and he's knocked out. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 18-yard line. Quick throw. Intercepted. It's the linebacker. From their own six yard line, first down. Ready! And he throws it away. Brad, I just think this quarterback's got to do a much better job of being able to read that defense and make quicker decisions. And especially when the defense starts to get pressure, you've got to either get rid of that football or check it down or take off and run with it. He gets rid of this one. Good job here by the defense. If you let this quarterback set and throw, he'll kill you all game. But they got excellent pressure on that play. They line up at the six. Third down. Go. Go. Aaron and out long. Grabs it and he might go the distance. And he finally steps out at the 34. They'll line up with five wide receivers. And he's taken down right around the 22-yard line. The defenders are really going to have to get their heads into this game. That was a big play, and I'm first down, no less. They'll spread the field here. Let's see what the defense does with a five-wide outlook. Makes a catch, and he's got nowhere to go. Makes the grab. Number 24 brings him down at the 21-yard line. That brings up second and nine. Quick pass, and he is drilled at the 12. They come out in a five-wide set. Makes it to the 12-yard line. When you get in these third-down situations, a confident offense expects to get the yards they need on the ground. It's a good job by the defense to shut that down. Looks like they're going to go for it on fourth down. They're just one quarter away. The Cougars in front by 15. into the fourth quarter now, and we're back to the action. It's up, and they tack on three points. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. And he got all of this one. Great kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Washington State's just not going to let him come for air, I guess. Well, this defense has just been stifling. They've shut down the running game. They've, for the most part, limited the big plays in the pass game. And they've got a nice lead here in the fourth quarter. Well, let's see if he can shake off that pick that he tossed last time out. This quarterback can make good passes. He just needs to focus on not forcing the ball to his receivers. He's got it out to his tight end. Tackle made around the 26-yard line. He didn't have much of a chance on that play. Boy, this defense has a lot of speed. They're all over him by the time he caught the ball. From their own 26-yard line. Second down. Go. 
He's hit and taken down. I think he was going to go to his tight end the whole way, but the defense didn't expect it. Sometimes those big guys can fool defenders into thinking they're blocking. So that sack sets them back a little bit now. They're looking at second and 13. by the linebacker to come up with the ball after the fumble. So the question here is whether or not his knee hit the ground before the ball came out. Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. After review of the play, the ruling on the field is reversed. So after some discussion, the call on the field is reversed. it out and he's got it spectacular play and now it's first and goal you know this team obviously did not have a great game today but they're capable of making plays like this and maybe a play like this can give them the confidence to try to get into the next game next week and realize guys this is what we're capable of doing and unfortunately we just didn't have a great game today it's first down and they'll be looking for six points here they're in the red zone so this quarterback better be smart last time he threw a pick down here the back gets three on the carry Nice move to finish it off. Touchdown. So the offense will stay on the field and attempt the two-point conversion. 51, Mike. Mike, 51. Get out. 164. And they get the two. So with just over three minutes remaining in the fourth quarter, the score is... 24-14, Washington State. Brought down at the 43-yard line. And what a game it's been for this quarterback, Kirk. Oh, this is an example of this quarterback just really being able to go out and show his competitive spirit. And each time he plays, he puts that out on display. And he's shown earlier on that touchdown that this guy can also hurt you with his feet. So he's a guy you have to be aware of, not just with his ability to throw the ball, but also be aware of his athletic ability. His great performance has contributed to this somewhat shocking lead. And it's looking like they'll pull off an upset. So you wonder what kind of excitement we'll see this time around. They spread the field in the gun with five wide receivers. And down he goes, around the 33-yard line. So it's second down, and they're only about a foot away from picking up the first down. Just over two minutes in the game. around the 31-yard line. That makes it first and ten. And he carries the ball for a nice game. The 
Panthers taking their first time out of the half. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Tackled after a decent run up the gut. Good pickup, and with a new set of downs, a chance to kill even more time. Pittsburgh's going to have to use their second time out of the half. The 10, the 5, brought down around the three-yard line. Pittsburgh's out of timeout. Defense in their short yardage package. He's tackled just outside the goal line. score here late in the fourth quarter and now they've given themselves some breathing room in this football game. And he hits the PAT. A seven play, 44 yard drive and a touchdown as a result. And Brad right now the offensive line just winning the battle in the trenches, opening up some big running runs. So our score, 31-14. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. They did a great job on their last drive, moving the ball down the field for a touchdown. Let's see if they can duplicate that on this drive. Well, it's one thing to have speed. It's another thing to have an idea of what you're doing and how to attack a defense. And right now, these wide receivers clearly have done an outstanding job in being able to make their reads and getting out of their breaks and the quarterback put the ball right on the mark. From their own 25-yard line, second down. We have less than a minute to go. Gets rid of it quickly, and that was almost picked. Flings it. He's taken down at the 49. That's going to be the 26 yards. First down. 268. 268. And he almost has the INT. You like a team that's ready to defend the pass. It takes some preparation to get in the way of a pass like that. From the 49-yard line, it's second down. He makes it to the 48-yard line. And he stops the clock with a spike. The punter is going to try to pin them deep in their own territory with a good punt here. They get this one off, and it's a beauty. So this one goes into the end zone, and that'll be a touchback. They'll take over here, ready to start a new series. And the quarterback's going to take a knee to drain this clock and any hopes the opposition may have had. The Panthers, I'm sure, are secure in the knowledge that despite this setback today, they still have one of the best players in the country. Well, this is a devastating loss, but it's one that they're going to have to put behind them. And, and as you said, they still have one of the best players in the country. They don't need to deviate their plan, get back to really what they know, and that's getting the ball to their star player. Next week, I'm sure they'll be fine. That does it for this edition of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Herbstreit, I'm Brad Nessler saying so long.